Council member Young has said Blackwell was fired unjustly and the mayor was, quote, the principal leader of his termination. Now for a second time, city council member Simpson and Young are trying to make political hay of this firing in order to score political points for her campaign against me. Their actions are shameful. Uh, there was no pressure from the mayor. Uh, the decision to terminate uh, the former chief for cause was, uh, was my decision. Uh, and it was a very thoughtful decision uh, based on a year plus assessment of the overall situation. As we first told you last night, some city officials say they didn't know about the settlement. City council members just wrapped up another press conference on these new developments. Nine on your side's Ashley Zilka joins us now live with more. Ashley. Well, Julie, we just heard from former Chief Blackwell, not in person, but on the phone. It was a quick conversation, but he told the crowd inside these doors to demand the truth. Councilman Young is now calling for a special investigation into the firing of Blackwell. Young says the community is entitled to know exactly what happened behind closed doors. Tonight's meeting comes after the controversy surrounding the email from Mayor Cranley to the Chicago mayor. In it, Cranley wrote, quote, I inherited a bad chief who happened to be black. Earlier today, Mayor Cranley insisted he had nothing to do with the firing of Blackwell, but leaders inside say they don't believe that. Bishop Bobby Hilton said their request is simple. It is imperative that we all hear and that we all know the truth. It makes me feel some kind of way to think that someone would position somebody just to calm me down. Don't try to calm me down. Just tell me the truth. Now, Councilwoman Simpson is also in here. She supports the special investigation as well. It's important to note she is running for mayor against Cranley. We'll have much more on this meeting tonight on 9 on Your Side at 11. Reporting live, Ashley Zilka, 9 on Your Side. Yeah.